is Ronda Rousey right about us and what she said on Twitter about the whole Bray Wyatt deal and him ending in his release? Let's talk about it. talking about the whole ordeal with Bray Wyatt getting released and potentially that we uh, saw many other superstars are going to be potentially released by WWE in the coming month uh, probably more than likely after SummerSlam so we know of two people that have been released currently due to budget cuts one is kind of understandable the second one kind of not Okay, the one that we kind of understand is Ric Flair. Ric Flair is not really doing matches. He's not competing. So maybe that possibly could be a budget cut. Um, this one I don't really understand is Bray Wyatt. Uh, if you guys did not watch that Monday Night Raw, they literally took over Monday Night Raw chanting, We want Wyatt. And... Ronda Rousey, uh, unless you guys have been sleeping under a rock, Ronda Rousey, UFC champion, just now, uh, what, how's, how long has it been? About a year, a couple years? She's been in the WWE scene, and she has always been a face type of character in the WWE scene. And after a couple months, people started drifting away from Ronda. They started leaning towards more Becky Lynch. Uh, Becky Lynch, the man. Probably one of the best in-ring competitors, women in-ring in competitors that WWE's seen in a very long time. And the fans shot towards Becky and left Ronda in the dust. And um, I guess it's a thing that Ronda was not used to because since she's always been that type of heel gimmick she's never been given up on by the WWE Universe and as you know if you are a soul watcher of the WWE the WWE Universe is unrelenting at some points in time we can be toxic we will literally drive you into the ground if we do not like you you will know. And fans started showing that a little bit. They started leaning, taking off Ronda's heel type of gimmick and they started just pounding her and just, I think that Ronda was not used to that and kind of took it a little too personally, you could say. Um, and that, that would, I guess I could kind of explain why she is defending the WWE and I will put her post up that was 21 hours ago it says I've seen the same fans chanting hashtag we want we want Wyatt last night speaking of Monday saying Monday Night Raw uh as well, they were chanting, we want beach ball, we want beach balls over Bray Wyatt performing. Now, to break that down, people were bored of the feuds that Bray Wyatt was in. Because every feud Bray Wyatt was in, he lost. And Bray Wyatt has probably been one of the best gimmicks come out since The Undertaker. He's got that scary, maniacal vibe about him. And people love that. I loved it. I don't know about anyone else. I never disliked Bray Wyatt. I did not. He wasn't. The, it's the WWE's fault. And I'll explain that why. It's because the WWE gives you the gimmick. They give you the feuds. They give you the stories. So... The blame shouldn't be going on Bray Wyatt and his performance if Bray Wyatt was giving 
given the right storyline, the right feud, or the right superstar to be in a feud with, maybe we'd be having a different conversation right now. So most of the blame should probably go on the, the story writers or whatever you would call them at, in the WWE. And I just don't see why Ronda is covering the WWE's butt for this because they literally dug Bray Wyatt's career down after the whole him and Matt Hardy feud that happened because that got to, that that feud got so stale and really the only thing that would have took it up a notch if Bray Wyatt would have won that feud and they kept on putting him in other feuds with these part-timers like uh, Goldberg that just shows up and then leaves and then shows up again. And I believe that's one of the big issues WWE has. They need to stop bringing back the old talent. Like, have a, have a return every once in a while, but it seems like they're having a return every two weeks. And they need to focus more on their new talent, the people that are going to push them into the future. Uh, Name a couple. You, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is huge right now. Uh, Becky Lynch needs more. Alexa Bliss needs more. She does. She needs more than that silly gimmick that they gave her. I'm sorry. Alexa Bliss is way more than just a scary petite girl that took Bray Wyatt's powers. The writing it wrong, and as what you see in Rhonda's thing, she is very, she's blaming us for the reason. And that's completely wrong. It is story writers, the people that have literally wrote his story down into the ground. I don't know how else to explain it because it's very, simple when you actually look at it and look at his career and when he started and what he's done since then his now his career hasn't amounted to really anything but this just that silly gimmick and losing feuds so yes the wwe universe is going to get very bored in watching bray wyatt perform when they know nothing like that's gonna happen like nothing special is gonna happen they know how the writing goes. It's happened many, many times before. So that's where I stand on this. I feel like Ronda Rousey is wrong for calling out the WWE Universe. And I feel like that's going to have complications with her in the future with WWE since she's posted it online and literally bashing us, the fans. But if you guys have any other opinions on this please leave a comment below and make sure to catch me live on twitch i will be live today probably when this video comes up and i hope to see you guys there let's shock the world four three three i got three threes okay three two three i'm turning around in three two one Please be something good. Please be something good. Please. What is it, chat? Is it L or W? Bro, I don't know NXT girls. That sucks. I don't know all of them. Okay, we're going to turn around in three, two, one. It's a pro! It's a pro!